today on Grinda Victory. Grindavik are preparing for their first home game in the league, and manager Ozzy Villain is making his final preparations before addressing his players. Uh, oh, it's, it's work stuff. You know, it's never ending. You know what it's like. But uh, no, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a big day for the club. Uh, you know, we're expecting a sellout, which is huge for us. It really, really is. So uh, to celebrate, I've actually organized a little bit of a surprise for the players. If you want to uh, want to come with me. Okay, guys, look, now, before we go out to warm up today, uh, as you know, we, uh, we're we expecting a sellout. So it's very, very important we go out there and put a big performance in. So if you actually want to follow me, I've, uh, I've organized a bit of a surprise for you all. So, guys, every time you walk out on the pitch, I want you to reach up, touch the sign, and say to yourself, this is Nii Grind... It's supposed to be like the Anfield thing. Just touch the sign and be inspired, guys. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It is Season 3, Episode 2 today. We are facing KR and uh, Selfos in the league, our first home games are uh, both of them are home games of the uh, of the pepsi league and uh the second one is a televised game as well which is very very exciting so uh we are expecting a sellout for our first game against kr it'll be the first time that we've sold that out and well maybe a new stadium is needed who knows uh it was built in 2001 and uh it's room to be expanded to a capacity of 5,000. so well who knows, maybe we'll be able to do that if we can sell out on a regular basis. Now, there are some games to catch you up on, obviously. Not too much has happened off the field. Uh, window is closed, obviously, so it's, there's not too much that can happen. But let's go and have a look at uh, how we've done. First game was against Valar. They are the defending champions. They are the team that we spanked in the Icelandic charity shield thing. So let's go see how we did. Now we're playing them in a more competitive game. We took the lead thanks to Oskarsson's strength, pace and power. And Moa across for Stefansson to make it 2-0 at half-time. Moa added a third. But Vela pulled one back. Before a late Moa strike sealed the point. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, we did deserve to win this game, but the score, I think, did flatter us as well. I don't think we were that much better than the Moa. Absolutely brilliant. Two goals and an assist as well. And uh, yeah, we just did really, we did really, really well. We didn't miss Maya too much. Gary Turpertson played in there, though you would argue perhaps not brilliantly. But uh, yeah, really, really good result for us. Next up, it was the Cup game. Our defense of the Cup started against a non-league side. Now, I don't know if they're called Kara or Carry. They seem to be called both. Um, um, so let's see how we did anyway. We fell behind just before half time. But Endongala's cross was deflected to have us level at the break. Endongala picked out Jonsson to put us in front. And Guy got our third. Before Hammer split the defense for Jonsson to seal the tie. So we put out very much a second string team for this one, and I was concerned at half time, but or going into half time. But thankfully, their goal seemed to wake us up, and uh, we were much better uh, second half. Morty Mortensen, our young backup goalkeeper, made his debut in this one, uh, as did Port Dartson, uh, played as a defensive midfielder. Uh, Carrison is one of the youngsters as well, and. Uh, Anson, I th oh yeah, Anderson. I'm not sure if he had played before or not. And our young attacking midfielder as well, Johansson, uh, who came through the youth intake, the second youth intake. He came off the bench and did quite good as well. So we got through in the end comfortably. And uh, our next round tie, I'll have to check. I forget who it's against now. I think it might even be against Fram. Actually, it's a tough one. Uh, but anyway, you've got to beat everybody if you're going to win things, don't you? Next game, final game to catch you up on. Back in the league was against Vikinger. Marmot picked out Stefansson's run to give us the lead. Harrison found Stefansson to get our second before half time. And Moa played in Stefansson for his hat trick. Before Vikinger managed a late consolation. So two things from this game. We changed formation, so I'm a tactical genius, and Stefansson is quite good. Uh, the reason we played like this is they were playing a 4-4-2. 
so I do like the I do tend to like to have the the extra defender at the back, and it just worked really well. The wide centre backs as well. We saw Magoma get an assist, which is unlike him, and it wasn't necessarily our strongest team either. Now these games we we sort of had three games in quick succession. Now what playing this way also enabled us to do. You'll see as we've rested wingers, Hammer and uh, High played in in uh, midfield, so it's given us a chance to to sort of get a fresh team out for this game against K, uh, KR. Now, if we have a look at uh, at the league table, well, it's going very, very well, isn't it? We are top four wins from four, and we play, this is KR here. Uh, now, they, we've played them, if you remember, in the League Cup. They're the team that knocked us out in the League Cup. So, if we can beat them, then I'll start and get excited and think, you know, we might actually go and win this league. But until that, I'm going to maintain a little bit of uh, composure and not try not to get carried away the teams that we've beaten are sort of mid table and bottom of the league in hk so it's looking good though isn't it? it is looking good let's not pretend it's not let's have a look and see what we're doing here in this first game then and we can see we're expecting a 4-2-3-1 out of them and this is the team that we are sending out bjornsson in goal marmot adel steins and antonsen play center back in this one magoma is tired he's not going to get 90 minutes out of him here uh shiba will be the right back again shiba is a little bit tired but so is antonsen oh no aunt uh Arneson wasn't it the other right back because they both played that previous game uh it's Gary Turpison Maya back from injury and Cap Capiello in midfield Oscarson and Moa with Stefansson up top and uh well it's our biggest test of the season so far let's see if we can pass it okay so we can see the team sheets there now this uh Finn Bogson he's actually like it quite good isn't he in real life I think I remember him playing at the Euros when they beat England and I think he played in the, the Eredivisie as well did he not so, you know, and he also played quite well against us in that League Cup thing. We're in a good run. Go out there and impress me. I think go out there and enjoy yourselves. We are, it's a first home game, isn't it? All right, let's go out there and impress me then. Let's fist pump. Let's uh, enjoy a sellout crowd and hopefully give them a game to enjoy as well. All right, here we go. Look at that recent form. Um, yeah, well, I don't, as I say, I don't know whether to, be, to get excited or not yet. This this mob were very good when we played them in that uh, in that League Cup. Though that being said, we had a terrible start. I think we were two 0 down inside twenty minutes, and we just couldn't quite recover from that. But we did look okay at times in that game. So yeah, well we'll see if we've grown as a team, I suppose, won't we? And uh, there, it doesn't look like a sellout, does it? Anyway, I guess as long as the club gets the money for it, that's the main thing. We have a highlight. Sheba with a throw. Stefansson brings it down. Crosses to the back post for Moa. And it's just over the top. Though in truth, it was always going over the top, wasn't it? We'll give them some encouragement. Uh, and Dongala, you may have noticed, has sort of become second choice to Oscarsson. He was just not playing well. And he was always nervous as well, which is why I dropped him. Uh, he did find a little bit of form in that uh, cup game, but it wasn't against great opposition. So it's not quite enough to convince me that he's ready to come back in yet. Oscarson, nice ball from Turpitson actually to find him. And it is Stefansson again, a 13th goal of the season. He is absolutely on fire. And well, we are one nil up against the team. And I said, if we win this game, I'll get excited. Are we going to win this league title? And are we showing here that there's not that much of a difference between the teams in Iceland? Now, everybody is semi-professional, so there's not that difference between the first and second tier. But I was I was expecting a little bit more from the top flight, and we've sort of picked up where we left off last episode as Antonsen loses out to Finn Bogson, and look at that tackle from Turpitson. That's potentially a goal saver there because, as I say, he is a very good striker. We've got uh, Stefansson at the other end. And you do just expect the net to bulge when you see him in like that. But uh, still, we have our 1-0 lead. Let's give them some more praise. Everybody's looking pleased and confident and calm. It's what you like to see. We've got defending to do here, though. Ball in. It is ooh, towards goal, but thankfully just wide from Fig... Bonson, Fig, 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 Finn Bogson, Fig, Fig, Bogson. Anyway, we'll just pretend that he is not playing. Now, we've dominated possession there. We will tell him not to get complacent. We will fist pump and say we've got faith in you. Uh, we possibly don't need to be attacking with a 1 0 lead. So we will just back it off to positive. And yeah, I mean, 69% possession. We're just still not really creating. 
And now I've hit encourage there. Never hit encourage when you're winning. So, yeah. I do think if we could if we could turn professional and get this team so we're training day in day out we could just you know constantly work on on chance conversion training i think we'd be i think we'd be dangerous but we're a long way away from that good ball for oscarson the cross is blocked capiello was lurking but uh couldn't quite get onto that uh we are almost back to being a million pounds in debt again uh, we haven't had any more cash injections since the summer. Mo has got an injury there. Marmot is beaten and put it out for a goal kick or something. It is hacked away. Uh, we will take Moa off. Hopefully, we're going to do so with a lead still intact. Can we just get this clear, please? Adele Steinson is there. Marmot, foot through it, please, mate. There we go. And that should end the highlight. Uh, it's going to have to be Endong Gala coming on out there for him. And uh, we've still not got it clear. Oh, it's offside, is it? We just about get away with that. Shiba is absolutely destroyed, but you're just going to have to suck it up. Oh, we're in stoppage time. We're in stoppage time, and I've misclicked things. And are we going to see this out? It looks as though we are. And get excited. We're going to win this league. What a performance again from the team. It was a much more even game uh, than we've seen previously, but we did dominate possession again. And I suppose the good thing, if we dominate possession... If they don't have the ball, it's difficult for them to score. So suddenly we are five points clear at the top of this table. That is very nice reading indeed, isn't it? So we're in control as KR brushed aside. The Moa injury is just a bruised ankle, so that's fine. Oscarson was shining. And, uh, well, I mean, if, uh, if the fact that he's playing so well is kind of also make, influencing me on, well, you know what, Endongala? You can go, mate. You can go because we've got Oscarson. Anyway, that is game one. I will see you momentarily for game two. Okay, welcome back. Now we have the last game of this uh, this round of games. So if, worst case scenario, we're going to have a two-point gap at the top of the league, although this team is going to have a game in hand. So potentially uh, potentially that could be, if we were to lose, they could uh, draw level with us. But uh, anyway, let's go and see what we're doing here against Selfoss. Uh, last time we played them, we weren't a top flight side. So we have got not a great record against them, but hopefully that can all change here and now. So let's have a look at the team that we're sending out. It is Bjornsson in goal. It is Marmot. It is Adel uh, Antonsen. Sorry, Adel Steinson is suspended for this one. He's got a uh, booking accumulation. Magoma comes back in with Shiba as the back four. It is uh, Sayas coming back in with Meyer and Capiello in midfield. Oscarson and Moa with Stefansson up front, although Moa is tied. So maybe we don't do Moa. Maybe we rest him for this one. And we stick Endongala out there as an inverted winger. That might make a little bit more sense. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Now, this uh, this guy is quite good, as is Gary Martin. It's the manager's son, uh, I would assume. But, uh, yeah, those two have been quite good against us in the past. Now, whether we are a little bit better, do we want to put on the display? I guess we can go with that. Uh, this is it's, it's, this is the, one of those. It's a banana skin, isn't it? So, yeah, hopefully hopefully we can get through this okay uh I, I feel like we have a few more options in the squad this year now a lot of that is just having those uh youth intake players be available to be registered as uh not and not take a spot away from non-club play, uh, players because i think it's 25 man squad eight need to have come through our club uh and i think the actual rule though i correct me if i'm wrong i think it is actually supposed to be icelandic players so well, obviously, we have a squad of mostly Icelandic players, so not as much as it has been in the past. So it's a little bit annoying if that is indeed not quite correct. Um, but yeah, just the fact that we have that we we have those extra players now. Maya with a lunging tackle, but appears to have been okay. Oscarson now gets in behind. Can he whip a cross in? He floats one in, and it is easy for the goalkeeper. And that was surely not the highlight. Now this game, actually, if you look at the stairs, looks like more of a sellout than the last one. But anyway, um, we'll find out. It was, a, it was a record crowd for the club that last game as well. Uh, so I'm assuming the, the ground has never been sold out before. So yeah, it's, it's excellent. We're, we're, making, we're making good progress on and off the pitch now as well. There's a ball forward. Oscarson can't get to that, but he does pick up the loose ball. Oscarson goes a long way, has a go, and maybe ambitious is a good word for that one. 81% possession through 15 minutes of the game. That is uh, that is quite impressive, isn't it? But we've just got to be a little bit wary of being done on the break here, I suspect. 
Now, one thing we don't have with oof, with Adel Steinson not in the team is we've got two guys that are good in the air, but not necessarily great on the ground, though Antonsen does have decent positioning, whereas Magoma's positioning is absolutely rubbish. So Magoma's one of those guys that just I think just follows the ball, just trying to head things away. So we are looking a little bit nervous there. Let's maybe give it a no-pressure shout. And this is the issue, perhaps, with the team talk that we gave. Uh, it might have to be a, we're doing fine. We've had 70-odd percent of the ball. You've been unlucky so far. That hasn't stopped some of the nerves, so that's slightly concerning. Um, yeah, we might be about to slip on a banana skin here, unfortunately. Let's try a demand more see what we can do i'd love to go in front if we could manage that nice and early here please boys capiello back to magoma across to antonson antonson looking for and not quite finding maya though i suspect he was probably looking for oscarson who stopped his run goes back to the goalkeeper of course the other thing is that if we do have a bit of a banana skin moment here do we start to look at this team as a bit of a bogey team magoma sweeps in there nicely bjornsson Antonsen across to Marmot. Marmot has been called up by his national team, French Guinea, I think it is. Um, so I'm not sure where French Guinea is. I'm assuming Africa. It's Stefansson. He's not going to miss that. A 14th of the season. Oskitson with the assist. And, well, we've, uh, we've signed ourselves a very, very good striker here indeed. I do wonder a little bit if, uh, if we might get some interest in him this coming uh sort of the summer that we're sort of playing through because uh, it is mid-june i want to say in game right now so the transfer windows around europe are going to be opening and yeah you do wonder a little bit i'm assuming we might get a little bit of interest in magoma we certainly did uh in the january window uh nothing that we couldn't reject it i think it was a swedish club that was coming in for him a few times but it wasn't any sort of major major bid we're sort of talking 20 grand something like that uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble here, and we are, and it is Gary Martin again, his first of the season. Always seems to score against us, that guy. And, uh, well, Trig, Trig and Fixen is uh, the other guy, that, so they've combined again. Sayas just didn't quite get out quick enough, did he? So I wonder if, uh, well, what can we do here? We'll wait for this highlight. 20 minutes to play. Magoma wins the header. Oscar Sue. Can he find Stefansson again? It's a really good run. Is he stayed on side? It doesn't matter because the goalkeeper has made the save. All right. We're going to make some changes here. Uh, what can we do? And Dongala, you can come off, mate. You're just continuing to annoy me. We'll get Moa on out there. And I'm wondering... Capiel's not having a great game. I'm wondering, actually, if we want to be a little bit more attacking here. So we might stick Capiello a little bit further forward and see what that does for us it's one of these frustrating ones where they've scored with their only shot on target of the game let's see if, what we can do here Sheba should be there for that it's uh, picked up though by Dale in midfield for them cross comes in oh what is the goalkeeper doing I can tell you the mistake I've made is the team talk we've I should, should have taken pressure off them we're not expected to be top of the league so I should have just uh, you know taken pressure. I don't know what the goalkeeper's doing there. That is horrible, horrible, horrible. And can we rescue a point now? We'll bring fresh legs on at left back. Uh, Marmot was on a booking as well as looking tied. And actually still on the field, it looks like. So it'll be his last involvement. Five minutes to go. We may not win the game, but can we at least rescue a point here? Capiello for Stefansson for Maya. Maya's in. Oh, and Maya, what was that, mate? Capiello is not having a good game. Oh, I've not hit pause. I've missed everything. And uh, we'll bring Carrison on late on to see if he can get something. But yeah, that was all a little bit too late. Sheba goes back to clean up. Here we go with Half Porson. He's got a long, long way here. Can he keep going? Half Paulson. Can he whip in across now with some quality on it? Well, there was no one there, was there? And now he's out of position as well. 
and uh, goes back. He's absolutely exhausted from running one direction. It's like me at left back. I could run one way. That's it. Then that's it. Get me oxygen. And I'll see you all at half time. I've hit praise. Why did I hit praise? Well, it was never going to be an undefeated season, was it? But that is very disappointing. Another game. We've dominated it. Let's not pretend we haven't. But um, yeah, well, we've lost. So there we go. The lead is cut to two points. Potentially, we could be level, but it's not bad, is it? Let's face it. We would have taken that at the start of the season. So disappointing collapse. And yeah, Anderson set for pay increase. That's fine. He can get that. Oscarson again played well. He's uh, he's making himself impossible to drop here, isn't he? He's done really, really well. And then that will, that will do it for today. If you have enjoyed that, it was going so well, wasn't it? Make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we might even come straight back, you know, because we've got this team that could draw level with us if they, uh, they're only three points back with a game in hand. And then we've got Fram in the cup, which will be a tough one for our cup defense because uh, we've always had the advantage of being the lower division side, therefore playing at home. We haven't had to play these sorts of teams away from home before. So that's what we'll do next time. Until then, I've been Aussie Bill, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.